these downloads have been the answers to my entire life have have come into my brain everything like every single moment of my life everything that's happened why it's happened who i really am what i'm here to do this is day 12 <laughs> And I'm doing something a little bit different for day 12. So I've been starting a 30 day video diary where I've been showing up on the camera every single day for 30 days, even if it's a minute long, but it's a promise I made to myself 12 days ago that I would show up on video no matter how I felt, no matter how I looked. And it was simply to show up authentically, not to have to try to do it, but to just show up as the real me, not trying to make it perfect, not trying to say the perfect thing, just being fucking real. And I think we all crave more of that in the world. And so this would be my day 12 video, but you're gonna see this video before you're gonna see the rest of the diary because today has been such a profound day for me that I couldn't not make it day 12, but I also wanted to share a video with you all today that seemed so perfect for the morning that I've had. And so you're gonna be watching this video, not today, but also when you finally reach day 12 on my 30 day video diary series that will be coming out on my YouTube channel soon. The morning that I have had, I'll just say, has been like a continuous ketamine journey with no ketamine. This is, I believe, the, the true power of what the ketamine has done for me since our ret retreat three months ago, is that it unlocked portions of my brain, it connected me to who I really am, and that stayed open. It hasn't closed. In fact, it's on only grown bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And this connection that I have with my higher self, with who I truly am, just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's as if there is a master, a teacher inside of my own brain that's teaching me. And this connection, like I said, hasn't gone away. And so mornings like today where all I did was a meditation and in that meditation and since then, it has been nonstop downloads all morning. These downloads have been the answers to my entire life have, have come into my brain everything like every single moment of my life everything that's happened why it's happened who i really am what i'm here to do which can be scary to share because it can seem so weird and out there but as you will see in the video that you're about to watch it's beyond me it's beyond my ego and it's a, it's a message that has to be shared because it's who i truly am and and when I am living in alignment with that, when I'm doing my soul's purpose for being here, everything else falls into place. So this video you're about to watch was recorded five years, no, excuse me, four and a half years ago. This video was recorded four and a half years ago. It was February of 2018, I believe. Maybe 2019. I think February of 2019, <laughs> excuse me. But I listened to it this morning because it's almost like coming full circle because I know that my purpose and my mission is my heart, is the light in my heart. I'm an angel of light that needs to turn on and open the heart of not just the collective consciousness, but of, of this planet. And it is my job to keep that light on and help others activate it in themselves, not for me to do it for them, to help them activate that light in their heart and open their hearts. That is my soul's purpose it's my journey it's what i'm here for it's what i was told this morning is what i've always been been here for is to turn on the light and what that means is love it means the light in our hearts our love unconditional love it is the message that has come to me my entire life and it's why i know that's my mission is to stay in that light in my heart that is unconditional love to stay in that so that it can be a light for everyone out there to open their hearts. That, that's what the collective consciousness needs right now, is a heart opening. That's what this planet needs right now, is a heart opening, an unconditional love heart opening. And that is my mission and what I hope to do with the rest of this journey that I have in 3D. 
So in saying that, this I'm going to share this video with you of uh, the experience I had. I call a near-death experience. It was of, of me dying four and a half years ago. And the message is even more pertinent today, this morning, and every freaking day from here on out. So enjoy. Okay, so I wanted to share something with you all um, that happened to me over last weekend um, that's really important for me to share. It's a really big message and I feel it's really important to get it out. So before I go into it, I'll give you a small little background. Um, I've been doing Dr. Joe's work um, for about two years now, a little over two years. I went to my first workshop, progressive workshop in Las Vegas in June of 2017. From there, I went to 10 workshops in the following year and a half. So I've been to 10 workshops now, three progressive workshops, um, one advanced workshop, um, two advanced follow-ups, and three seven-day workshops. After my first advanced workshop, my life completely changed 150%. Um, those who know me and know my story know it's been one hell of a transformation. And I'm a completely different person. So um, that being said, I've done many pineal gland meditations, regular meditations. Um, I'm not going to lie. I haven't meditated every single day for the last two years. Um, there's been days I've missed. Um, and, you know, I, I just go the next day or the day after that um, or whatever it may be. Um, at a, a couple months ago, back in September, I was introduced to something called the Lucia Light um, by my friend Moshela. Moshe I've, I've done it um, about six or seven times now, the, the light session six or seven times. And what it does is stimulates your pineal gland. I've had, you know, in my, in my first advanced workshop, I had my first Kundalini experience where energies just moved through my entire body to where it knocked me on the ground. Um, and again, those of you that know me have seen, you know, when, when that kind of happens to me. So I've had some amazing, amazing experiences in the meditations, um, beyond amazing. And a lot of them I haven't shared with anyone. And really until now, I always had some sort of fear to, or self-conscious. Maybe I just, I never wanted it to be part of my ego that was just trying to get attention. I didn't want that. Um, and so, you know, I, I didn't really share some of them with people. This last weekend, my friend Wishela came and stayed with us. And on Saturday, um, as it says, I died. <laughs> I went into the Lucia Light session with absolutely no expectation. I um, was doing the session with three other people who it was their first time doing it. So I really didn't have any expectations at all. Um, and pretty much as soon as the light started, I was taken in um, quickly, very quickly. Um, and when I mean in, I mean it just into the field, into whatever. I, I was pulled in very, very quickly. Um, there were a couple times in the beginning, you know, she's very clear on telling you if it's too much, you can, you can scoot down. Um, and I had those fears come up and you know, I, I, I'm just that type of person that doesn't want to let that fear rule me and I just go all in. I let it take me and there was that moment of, oh my gosh, if I, if I allow myself to go this far, am I going to be able to come back? There was definitely a thought of that and then it was just like I pushed a little bit past that and boom and and I'm still kind of processing it all and there's still memories that are coming back to me even still um, almost a week later but I I remember being dead in a sense I was on the other side I, I knew I was on the other side and you know why it is so important for me to share this is because all that was there was love un I mean, it, to say unconditional love is, is not even a, a, a minuscule of what I experienced there. And it's, it's light and energy, but, but movement and 
and I felt it everywhere even though there there's no bodies you can feel the energy everywhere and at one point um, I I was dancing with God like I was dancing with God and I remember the most humble like oh my god why me and you know and then towards the end it was what do I do with this what do I do with this massive how do I go back how do I how do I function in, in that when this is the biggest thing I have ever even imagined I could experience in my entire life and when I say it's just love, like it's just freaking love, there is no, nothing, nothing else exists there. Nothing else exists. No, no karma, no, no bad anything. There's nothing bad. It is just love. It, that's all. That's all that exists on the other side. And that's what I experienced was just pure it's it's a love that our bodies can't even comprehend we can't even comprehend it it was so much for me i i really didn't know how i would come back to this and take that with me and i said that at the end what do i do with this what what am i supposed to do with this and god or or the universe or spirit or the light or who whatever it was said you just be love even when you're triggered, even when a program comes up, even when you don't want to be, you just be love. That's just be love. And I have never, you know, in, in workshops before, I've had a hard time coming back, as, as we say in this community. This was something totally different. This was, um, it, it really took some time and it was Shayla's extraordinary in what she does and she really worked with me to um, center me and ground me and pull me back into my body um, because it took a little bit of time and while I was totally conscious and aware of, of her and what was going on around me I would I would wave from you know as she's talking to me I would wave from back here to totally and completely back there a hundred percent and then wait and it and it, it was waves of, of trying to slowly kind of move back in and you know I'll be honest the second day going back under the light I had a little bit of that fear come up when I laid down again like oh my gosh I, I've just never gone that far and that's all I remember I could say at first was I have never I, I've had some amazing experiences but I have never ever I couldn't even imagine having experience like that and you know this message of just love is bigger than me so it doesn't matter before you know I was I was scared what people think if I if I told them or, or whatever it, it just doesn't even matter it doesn't matter because it, it's, it's so much bigger than me that um, I, you know I know and, and as the days have moved on and it's kind of settled in and, and, and all the processing is kind of settled in and it still is it's just becoming so clear to me that I spread this message that people know there's nothing to be afraid of and I've had people, you know, say to me, I, I moved down this journey so fast and I, you know, I had these experiences so fast and it, for me, I, I don't know what it is in particular except for I, 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 I just let go. I just have an underlying trust, I guess, um, that guides me, that allows me to just let go. And I think so many people struggle with that and they struggle with the control and that's really all it is. And I have that too, but I also have a, a desire that's even deeper than that fear. I just go all in and I will tell you in, in Cancun in December, it that workshop changed me. It changed something in me. And you don't need the light. You have everything inside of you. You don't need anything to access that. It is freaking here all the time. I mean, it, these these little things that, that we let get to us just don't matter. This is just a blip. It's just a blip. It's just a blip. And on the other side, nothing else exists but love. Pure, pure love. That's it. 
that's all. That's what we have waiting for us. We're here to, you know, experience this. And then we go to the other side and it's just, it just doesn't matter. The stuff just doesn't matter. And, it, you know, we need to learn to laugh about it a little more and have patience with yourself and love. I remember at one point, I, I guess it was maybe when I came back or maybe towards the end of, I'm not sure, but I remember, I, and I mean this in all sincerity, truly being grateful for every experience in my life. And I'm talking all the bad ones. I was grateful for my bad ones because I experienced life. I got to experience life. Like, how cool is that? I'm, I get to be human and experience even these bad things. It means I'm living and I'm loving and I'm learning. And um, yeah, it just, it continues to show itself to me. And I'm very aware now that I need to spread this message. And I have been scared to up until now. I've really held myself back, but I realize there is a light inside of me that I'm really ready to let shine because it's bigger than me. And another important point I wanted to make was um, you know, six months ago, I would never have been ready for that experience. I just, I don't know if I could have um, transitioned back that easily because it, it really was um, quite the transition. So, you know, if you're wondering why your big experience hasn't showed up yet, just have patience with yourself because maybe you're not ready. Or maybe you just need to push past that fear just a little bit because the thing is, once I pushed just a little and I got to that other side, of course there was no fear. There was there was more. How am I going to go back to that side after being here? And so it's it's just pushing it a little bit and just letting go of the control. I mean, again in this in the second light session, I was a little nervous, um, but I didn't. I didn't let it rule me and I had you know the following couple days another amazing experiences but I've done a lot of work on finding my pineal gland and um, you know accessing that realm and um, you know it was a culmination of everything I have done it was a culmination of every workshop of every single meditation it was a culmination of all of that and just being ready I just was ready to really see it and receive it and experience it and share it now. Um, I wouldn't have been ready to share this months ago. So, you know, my message to you is don't, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to be afraid of. It is just love. It's just love. And some of you may know my, my motto is love over fear. And afterwards I'm like, I need to change that to just love. I mean, I, I experienced something that I, I, I still can't even really put into words to get people to understand what I what I experienced. It was it was so profound. I mean, I freaking danced with God. It was, you know, I had a conversation with Jesus. It, 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 it was, I knew, and I was so humbled, and I just didn't know what to do with that until really the last day. Um, and it's become very clear that I am I am supposed to share this message and I'm supposed to get over myself <laughs> and my stupid little insecurities um, so this message, message can be shared. There, there's no ending point. You don't reach some destination and then you're done on this journey. It's, it's continual. It's constant. It's ever evolving. And how, how much fun is that? So... Um, keep going, keep going, always keep going, keep surrendering, surrender, 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 and allow that love in. Just allow it to come into you and let go and receive it because it's there. It's there for everybody. We all are it. We're all just love. And it's just a blip. This is just a blip. Um, so yeah, I just, it was important to me um, to share that. I'm going to be starting a video series on breath work which is also really important to me and has, I believe, led me to that experience as well. So thank you all for taking time to listen and I wish you all just love.